Item C.3 of the Westercon business meeting is called Bidders at the Site Selection Table. Move to amend section 3.13 of the Westercon bylaws by inserting wording to clarify that bidders are expected to provide observers for the site selection table for at convention voting. It adds a sentence, each eligible bid committee shall provide at least one observer for on-site balloting. Uh, this has uh, eight minutes total. Mr. Van Arn. Oh, yeah. So this is something we were caught by surprise at, at, um, at Mr. Crown 69. Uh, shortly beforehand, we were informed that this was expected, and we totally agree. We're very fond of trust but verify, and we definitely agree that we should have someone watching the watchers. Uh, but uh, we al also think that if there is a strong expectation that, or even a requirement for this, that it be codified in a way that it's not reliant on, again, verbal oral tradition. Uh, thank you. Speech against? Okay. Kate, did you want to come up here or do you want to try and speak from there? Okay it is. Uh, yeah, just speak out. Speak toward the camera, that's all. I'm actually against this for the simple fact that when you are bidding for a convention, you tend to take full awareness into what you're bidding. And not only are we relying on the written, on the oral or telling, but you should have some website selection. But this is something that can be simply popped into the traditions on the website versus actually making an amendment to do so. Speech in favor? Mr. Yellow. Uh, I'm sorry, you know, I apologize. I, I did make an exception for the videographers, and he was first. So, Mr. Oaks. Uh, As a former Western Con Site Selection Administrator, I will have to admit, when I did it at Western Con 65, that one of the issues that came up was the Western Con bid did not supply me the observer, and I was stuck for two days by myself running site selection without any oversight from the bid until we went to counting. Fortunately, it was an uncontested election, very low-key, no issues, but there were no observers. I was by myself, which both for a social issue and for, you know, checks and balances was not good. Had this been a requirement in the Constitution, you know, Dave and, and Charlie would have known they needed to be providing me an observer. So I believe this is something that should be codified. Thank you. That's a speech in favor. Speech against? Any further speech in favor? Mr. Yellow. Um, as the person who was, in essence, referenced by, by the initial speech, <laughs> uh, since I was the uh, administrator for the vote that seated this WesterCon, uh, I, I regret that I had to spring it on you guys. Uh, and yes, I think that in this particular case, it is worth adding the extra sentence. Uh, it's not, it's useful to have something that I can point to. And as the site selection administrator this year as well, it was fine. Everybody agreed to it, but having it in the bylaws would help. Hold the question. Mr. Chairman, I've got to finish. I, because I'm my own timekeeper, I have to do that part as well. Uh, he, um, he actually, the first person recognizing is uh, Mr. Jones. Actually, a question to the submitters in Ted Lamont Jones. Jones. Lamont Jones. The question asked to the submitter's intent, if I may. Yeah, go ahead and ask. Is, uh, you say that you ex that the bid is expected to provide observers, but the wording in the actual amendment is shall, which would make it a requirement. Remember, all, everything goes by way of me. Yeah, sorry, but that's right. Okay, um, you have the floor. Would you yield the member? I would be happy to yield the floor. Mr. Van Ark. Sure. The, uh, it is currently an expectation that, um, it's currently an expectation that uh, big committees do this, and the wording uh, elevates that to a requirement. Is there any, any further debate desired on this? Anyone, anyone want to debate this? Okay. Is there any objection to me putting it to a vote without rereading it? Hearing none, the question is on item C.3, bidders at the site selection table. 
All those in favor of adopting this, raise your hands. Hands down. Those opposed, raise your hands. Hands down. Uh, this, this motion is adopted. It is, this is initial passage. It will be sent to Western Con 72 for ratification.